Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a review of the Canon 430EX Mark II and the 430EX Original. Now these are both camera flashes for Canon cameras. I'm going to show you the similarities, differences and what I like about these two. So first off I'm going to start with the Mark II, which is a bit bigger than the other one, but a bit lighter. On the front you've got these infrared sensors which are for slave modes, so if you want to use off camera flash. Here you have a lock feature, instead of a screw one, you've got the pins there. And then if I just mount this on my camera, you, you put it on the hot shoe, like that. And then you just do that until it clicks and then that is not coming off. And then you just press that button there and then it flicks back and you can take it off. So when you turn it on, you get TTL, or whatever you put it on, last mode, you've got um, 64, and then you can go all the way, so the, the little stops are in between, 32 in between, 16 in between, 8 in between, 4 in between, 2 in between, and then 1 over 1, which is the most powerful. I normally keep it on about 1 over 32, so if you, if I just do this. Like that. I'll keep it on that. And then here on the front you've got that, which is if you press that it goes green so you can see in the dark. And it's got a custom functions, so if you hold it down you get the list of custom functions. I'm not sure what they are actually. If I just go back. There we go. Here you've got high speed sync and first curtain sync. Like that. So I'm in high speed sync which makes I'll show you in a sec. There you go. So if I just mount this on my camera and then turn it on. Basically, when you've got it in normal, it only goes up to one out. Oh, maybe not. It goes. Is this connected? Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's flashing. Right. Um. So it only goes up to 1 over 200, but if you go to high speed sync, you can go above and beyond, which syncs the camera to the shutter speed. And first curtain sync is still 1 over 200. Um, so yeah, zoom is where, say, 35mm on the front of my camera there. Um, that that way, if, if you put that into, um, so you got 24 up to 105, or if you, this has got a diffuser, if you just flick that out like that, it goes into a 14mm wide mode, and that diffuses it. Um, sorry about the road noise in the background. Um, yeah, so if I just put that back. You got that. And in camera, I think what you can do is, um, if I go to flash control, function, um, I've got, you can put auto, and then you've got all them there. And then the first curtain, you've got first curtain, uh, second curtain, and high speed. And then here you've got the um, inputs, outputs, or whatever it is. And then you've got manual and ETTL which is basically an auto mode for the flash so yeah and that is a pilot button where you can um, like make it flash for just pressing that button testing they both take um, four AA batteries there and this is all adjustable here as long as you hold down that button and then for slave mode you just hold down the zoom button and it goes into channel 1 and slave A, and it makes the front um, go in for red, detecting for a signal. So yeah, that is the Mark II. There. Moving on to the Mark One, it has a few similarities and a few differences. Um, on the front, it's about the same size, but I think it's a bit bigger or smaller, I'm not sure. Here, instead of the slave going into the zoom, you just flick that, and it goes into slave mode. But I'll turn it on first. So as you can hear, it makes a noise when you turn it on, unlike the Mark II. It's powering up. And then look, 
if you do that, you've got the same as, like, you got ETTL and you've got the same as what was on the Mark II. So I'll just turn that back off. Go on to manual and you've got the same there. The zoom, you can change it. It still goes from 24 to 105 or auto. You can't control this one in, in camera though. I don't get it. It has the same diffuser as well. So that's 14mm again. And then you got the same, basically the same flash, just a few little differences. You got that though. And instead of a twist on, uh, instead of a lock, a, a flick, flick lock you've got to screw this on like that yeah and then when you put it in slave it searches for that infrared signal and that is the front of the flash so yeah as you can see they are both very very similar flashes and they both pretty much do the same thing but the mark 2 is a bit quicker and again that one takes double a so yeah, hope you enjoyed that review and uh, tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please check out my new website, I'll put it in link in bio. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, see you guys in the next video.